Thousands of tourists had a vacation in Cabo they'll never forget. Unforgettable for all of the wrong reasons. We caught up with a New Mexican who braved the storm and is now stranded in Baja. Here's News 13's Alex Goldsmith. Dean, that Albuquerque woman scrimped and saved for a year for her dream vacation. But hours after she and her friends landed, so did the record-setting hurricane. For more than a year, Lori Rivera had been saving up for this, a week in paradise at this resort in Cabo. We had plans to swim with the dolphins. We were going to scuba dive. And even after she landed yesterday with her three friends, the mood was light, even though the waves were picking up. People were still partying and people were still having a good time. They were eating dinner, people were drinking. Um, but then it started getting, you know, kind of windy. Really windy. I have never heard a sound like this before in my life. That sound was Hurricane Odile blowing through at 125 miles an hour. And when the sun came up, that paradise was a mess. There's just pieces of rubble and pieces of, I don't even know what they are, pieces of stuff everywhere. Our rooms have no electricity, we have no TV, we have no light. I just want her to get home as soon as possible. Back here in New Mexico, Lori's daughter Ashley has been glued to the Weather Channel, trying to learn the latest and get her mom help. The U.S. Embassy, anything, but they're not getting any answers. And I can't really help all the way from New Mexico. <laughs> With Cabo's airport damaged, it could be a while before Lori and her friends can come back. There's nothing to even do here. All there is is to walk around and see devastation. We just really want to go home. We want to get home to our families where we can be safe. As bad as things are for Lori, she says she feels lucky because most of the resort staff out there lost their homes in the hurricane. Back to you. Alex, thank you. Odile is the biggest storm to ever hit Cabo San Lucas. There are an estimated 24,000 tourists now stranded in that resort town on the southern tip of Baja, California.